Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will just be discussing how to grow citrus trees and fruit trees in smart pots. So stay tuned. So we are looking at a, a grow bag and this grow bag is manufactured by smart pots. As I was doing uh purchasing my bags, I decided to you know go ahead and condense my garden as you guys know. I got confirmation to do this when I was looking at uh, Organic's Best Urban Garden, Martin Bouchard, or Sonia Conscious Seeds. And the, f the craziest thing about this situation, I was thinking about doing this like uh, prior to me, uh, my bags, my grow bags arriving, and I was like, well, I'm just going to wait it out and I'm going to look online and see. And I was doing that. I looked online to see if you can grow citrus and fruit trees on, on, in containers. And I didn't find it. And I was doing more research. I was doing recommendations and all that other stuff. And no one had the answer. And I knew that grow bags are contained, you know, because they are in, it's in a container. It's contained. It's a contained, uh, a contained container. So I was like, okay. And when I saw uh, Martin Bichot talk about this, about the first week of February, the second week of February of 2019, I said, green light. So, without further ado, here we are. So, as you guys know, what do, what do you need to grow citrus trees? You need acidic soil. Uh, and it should be organic. The one in front of you I have is the Azalea's Rhododendron. Uh, soya mix and you also can use organic potting mix by Kellogg's organic potting mix that's the product I'm using today I'm not using the azaleas because um you know it, it's just uh this is just, just for show basically guys but you can use the organic raised bed potting mix you don't need the so far in that product but because it's the pH level is actually balanced, uh, to grow uh, citrus trees with their um, soil, I did my research with them, and I also did my research with Forest Growers, and Forest Growers said it is strictly okay. So, and I took trees, I used their trees, so that's another reason why I am doing this, and I have done it with the Maya Lemon that you guys have saw. Now, that um since then been potted up but this one is being potted up today it was in a seven to ten gallon container and now it is going to this 15 gallon grow bag uh with smart pods you could just leave them on the ground you could leave you could uh put them on a platform so what i have done i already have filled the bag up um a little bit and now we're just going to shake it because it's um being uh you know pot it up here okay let me move this up here. sorry if I'm in the way now don't get rid of your nursery pots you can always use these things for something else okay guys don't mind my hat either, guys. It's cool out here in my hair, you know, and you gotta, it's still worth the time. And so, here we go. And you just want to fill it up. You always want to make sure you line your pots up and make sure that. Okay. And you can add your coffee grinds to help to reach that acidic point. Give you a pH monitor. Uh, monitor meter and you know check this you know the acidic uh levels to make sure it's at the right ph you can add so far if you want if you like but i'm not because i already experienced a nice growing rate uh with my citrus tree now one thing about citrus you want to make sure the fruity roots are not being covered uh so much right because they have to breathe and they gotta eat and so that's one thing you want to be very very careful of 
okay, when growing citrus in containers. All right? And so if you got to put some of that soil back, like I'm doing here, go ahead, place it back. But make sure that root ball is lined up to where it's supposed to be. Make sure your feeder roots are not being covered. Make sure you give your citrus a nice amount of water. All right, they don't like to be so soaking wet, which is weird, but it is what it is. So just act like your tree is in the ground, basically. And this is what it is. It's actually a contained product that's not in the ground, but is looking so lovely right now. I'm so happy. This is NJ Kylie Gardner, and I am, if I'm not the first, I am the hundredth or the first to officially announce that I am growing citrus fruit trees in grow bags. Thank you for watching. One thing I forgot to mention was that you do want to add a layer of earth from castings and uh, compost. So that your tree can get the nutrients it needs once you finish uh, adding your soil. Another thing you want to do is mulch. Mulch with wood chips or leaves. And the reason why you want to do this is to reduce watering and to, re uh, to allow your tree in the fall and winter months to be to stay warm whether it's a fruit tree like stone fruit or citrus or grapes or berries you always want to keep your trees warm so i thank you all for watching thank you to my new subscribers who have joined my channel we are now family don't be afraid to comment below and always always please like and share with someone that you know and love. This is NG Kelly Gardner saying, Shalom.